Welcome to Lethal Vortex tutorial number 3. In this tutorial we will make covert brush to static mesh, make a weldable door, make a lift, and working light switch. Here we have again a basic cube map, I'm going pretty fast, trough this tutorial since already I forgot to put the mouse cursor on and snag it, two times so had to redo the whole tutorial again, make a cube use size height 192, width 128, breadth 8. Move it on the location you want, this doesn't really matter, since we won't use this brush right now we only use the static mesh once we done with covered it, now you want to open the texture window now we want to open a nice texture I will open office, you can filter search on doors, but it seems there is only one texture door, so we will use this for now, now we need to make a cube, so press the add tool, here we have a door cube we want to change the texture. Since it looks bad right now, the good thing is, if you know the texture size you can calculate what size the texture will fit nicely on your door, the reason it looks bad right now is cause I forgot to get it out of the floor in the side window, but no problem we can lift it right now, now you will see, that the texture will look nicely on the door don't forget to build all, now we are going to cover this to a static mesh it's not really hard, go to your top window, Right mouse your brush door choose cover then static mesh, for package we want to save it as my level, so it will come inside our map file, group you can name whatever you want, press ok, now we made our static mesh open your static mesh window we want to find it now go to package my level, and it should be there now, now that we have our static mesh we can delete our brush, by selecting it and pressing delete. Now we make the door right mouse the cube with the arrows, and choose KF door mover, the KF door mover is inside your brush tool so find it, and click your door mover drag it inside your map inside the basic cube of course, make sure you lift it in the side window, all the textures are still fine you must remember, that you cannot change the static mesh textures so make them right before you turn it into a static mesh, I make a small help cube for my door, so I can easy make a door open use size 128x8x8, drag it where normally your wall would be, yes I cut apart cause I forgot something, right mouse up dorm over then mover, and choose key 0 base it should remain in place then again go to mover, and choose key 1 now you need to move it to the location you want the door to go to, and now when you choose key 0 it should go back to the location it was before you changed it, now you can change location with 1 and 0 remember to put it into 0 when I done in base, here you can change the door event and trigger, now you want to go to your actor window, and look for triggers then go to use triggers, and choose KF use trigger, click it, and close our window, anywhere on the floor, add KF use trigger, now what you want to do, is move your KF use trigger inside your door mover cause this will display your weld, status, now right mouse your KF use trigger go to the event tab, change the event to door, don't close the window just click your KF door mover now you can change the door event tag to door this means the trigger will tag the door to move, this how basic doors, in killing floor work I will show you some useful basic setting for your door, that you can play around with, right mouse your door open properties, go to move a tab, here we move a time here can we change the time it takes for the door to open, on 1 it opens fast on 10 it opens slower, let's try it build or wait save then start level, I will cut this loading. Oh yeah the door opens, if you press E again it closes again, we can also weld it now. Good job you made your first door without having to rely on copying it from other map. Ok now we will make a lift lifts in KF should not be used that much since, zombies can't really use them, if you're on higher ground they will wander around not knowing how to get to you, so you will need to add a teleport to higher area for the zombies. Make a cube use height 8, to the rest, 128. Don't matter will you move it? since we still need to cover it to static mesh. Choose a texture you want for the lift. This will be ok for me, and again like we did with the door then right mouse it again cover it to static mesh. 
you can leave a package since it's already my level group is also okay just change the name otherwise it will overwrite the door, and then the door will be a lift, delete the brush find it inside your static mesh window. Right mouse the cuba with the arrows again now we want to choose mover, we need to drag it outside our brush again place it on the location you want, make sure you place it on the right location. Again we will need to add keyframes for the lift, to go to so start with 0 on base then 1 to where it should go to, we make it move us up there, don't forget to, make it return to base before you continue your work since otherwise you will get a bug with it when you build all, now we will use a different trigger go find trigger place it on the floor drag it on top of the lift, this trigger will make it so when we touch it the lift will start without having to press anything. You can move also in the third window with holding control and moving your mouse. Now that we have it on location, we still need to give this trigger an event, so right mouse the trigger or you go to trigger tab here we can change the trigger type. Pawn proximity means that, if zombie touch it it also activate player means only for player. I forgot to add event right mouse again change event, to lift start then click the static mesh and change tag. To lift start also the object tab we can change the way the trigger acts on the mover we want to do trigger open timed, this will make the mover open then it will return to zero base. I will show you how you can add a sound to the mover, so that it will make a sound when it moves click the sound tab open your sound window find the sound you want then add them to your static mesh. <laughs> For open and close we use the same for test. Don't forget to save every now and then, when you lost your work it's painful. Now we will make a light switch make a small cube I used size 8x8x8 so it's really small, place it on a wall, can't be bothered with textures, so I use whatever I got now, add the switch we won't cover it to static mesh since you can't see it anyway when the lights are off. Open up your actor window again this time we need to act as first we will get the use trigger place it on the floor drag it to the cube that we made. Right mouse click properties then open the event change event to light. I will need to change the level brightness, since I used ambient brightness, since I could not be bothered with light at the start, now you see the static mesh actually turned black it's cause there is no light and I haven't built light yet so now we need to open actor, go to light find trigger light, we want to add this actor to the ceiling make sure it's in the right location. Ok that looks alright, now build light to see the result, we want to change the properties of the trigger light, change the event, tag to light, since we used this for our trigger as well now open the trigger light tab, go to initially on set it to true this will make the light be on, go to object, put the initial state on to trigger toggle this means you can trigger it by pressing E, and turning it on by pressing E again, we are all set, and ready to go finally. One more thing open the trigger for the light we want to put in a small message for the user, to understand what they are pressing. I always save, before I build all reason is that in case it crashes when building all you still have a backup I once had a crash when building also it's a tip, I will cut the loading time no need, to waste time watching that. Now we are all done now let's test what we have made first the door. Nice one. Now let's try the lift. Wee wee wee. I'm scared mommy I want to go down.
Now for the last test. I can't see anything. Is anyone there? I am. This was my third tutorial I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to post things you like to see in the next tutorial, goodbye for now, Sam don't be shy. Goodbye all.